Yo, what is going on, guys? We are back. Uh, took about a week off. Had to, you know, for the holidays. That's Thanksgiving here in the States, or at least it was. So, you know, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of family around. But uh, now we're back to continue our Call of Duty veteran playthrough. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare veteran playthrough. So let's just jump right into it. Continued throughout the night as U.S. Marines continued to push towards the capital city in pursuit of Khaled al-Assad. Sporadic fighting can be heard as the bulk of al-Assad's forces fall back towards the presidential palace. Command, this is Lieutenant Vasquez. War pig is en route. We're not <coughs> missing this party. Correctly, this mission is pretty tough. There is an RPG over there behind that bus, but there's no way I'm going to make it to it. I think we could take him down with uh, this if you're lucky. You gotta hit it like four times or something like that. Got him. Nice. I think they got most of their guys off the chopper first, but still felt good. Let's try to flank around. Oh! I think we got most of them. Buzz is clear. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, that could have been worse. But this, like, uh, this little street we go up here is hard. I remember I died on it a bunch of times. Someone else is here. Six, possible ambush area up front. We'll, uh, move up when you clear the area ahead of us. Over. Watch for silhouettes on the rooftop. Marines stand clear. We're gonna get some rounds into the building. Oh. Get an RPG. What is hitting me? Oh man. I'm lucky to push up because it, it gets pretty cra crazy up there. What the? Oh, okay. I think maybe if I just run up and try to get, like, up in here. Nope. Well, that did Great job, bud. I did get a checkpoint, though. Uh, it took me, like, three seconds ahead. This isn't good. Oh, this is good. Maybe that's the guy that killed me last time. Why did I just throw a flash? I just try to... Ah, shit. I just try to cram myself in here. Nope, someone's shooting. Oh, please don't kill me. Alright, another checkpoint. 
Especially the saw. Squad automatic weapon. Oh my god. I love how, like, they always only aim for you, to be honest. I have to just rush maybe if I run over the side of the street. Maybe I'll get behind the tank. Nice, nice. Ooh, it really blows your eardrums out. Makes sense. Shit, they're right in there. I think I just blew up my own guy. Little wag there. Nice try, bud. This is gonna be Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. He's coming to the spot. He's running after me. Oh, I just completely botched that. Why did I like jerk to the right? Try this again. Come on, move up, bro. The tank is supposed to move up. Bravo six, we're moving up. There we Roger go. Gunner, three story building at twelve thirty. Second floor. Target acquired. Fire. They, they really. Put them all over the place here, and the AI for Al Assad's forces, in my opinion, are. I don't know. I always like try to think like, what's like the hardest? Do you like program the different factions of the AI? Like for instance, are Al Assad's forces programmed to be more aggressive or more accurate than like the ultra nationalist forces, for instance? I don't know if they do that or if they even could do that back then. But I always got the feeling that Al Assad's forces were like programmed to be more like aggressive and more like dug in and like, all up on the roofs and like that's how I always got the feeling. I always felt like they were a really hard uh, AI faction to fight. Could just be completely not even a thing because they didn't even they like, do that or didn't do that. But that's always how it's felt to me, which I really appreciate because it's. These marine missions in this game really do feel like a giant battle. In contrast to the SAS missions, which is obviously intentional. I don't want to go in this building again. I kind of want to go... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. Alright, and then I'm just going to bust and shoot. Oh, I lagged there. Pretty bad. All right, got a checkpoint at least. That makes me feel a little better. I think we're good here. We're good. Bravo six, this is more big. We clear to uh, are we clear to advance over? Roger that. Move up and hold position at the back. Usually when I do this mission, I run up in that, that building over there. This time I decided to do it a little differently, I guess. Okay, I think we're good on that side. Is that a bad guy? No. I don't even know what he just shot at. Oh, stupid. Okay. Oh my god. Laser accurate. Today. Probably because their computer's a piece of shit, but whatever. Gets the job done. I always run out of ammo on this mission too. I might not now though, because I actually kind of got through. Uh, I got through this street over here pretty easily compared to 
how it went last time I played this on veteran. Actually, no, I'm pretty low. Never mind. But I still got the saw. Where's the RPG guy? He was up there. Oh my god, I didn't even have a chance on that one. Who's this friggin' guy? Oh, come on, that didn't blow someone up. Oh, I think I hit him right on that. reload on this thing. I don't know if that tank actually like helps you out. I don't know if it actually kills enemies. I'm assuming it does. I gotta get down there if they're ever gonna stop spawning. Eh, a bit risky. Oh my god. I still hear more grenades. Okay. Another checkpoint. That's good at least. That's behind the wall, so I'm good. That's not. Okay, we're out of ammo on that. Okay, I think the actually, I think the M16 and the M4 uh, quite accurately and appropriately have the same ammo dump, uh, ammo bank in this. So this really isn't going to help me, I guess. But I do really like the M16, uh, M16 model in this game. Classic A4. I believe it's the A4. It could be the uh, A3 or A2. No, definitely not the A2. Definitely A3 or A4. But I don't believe the A4 even fires uh, full auto. I'm pretty sure it's strictly semi and burst. The M16 A4, that is. Damn, they're just... Alright, I gotta throw some flashbangs and just rush it. I'm dead. Just rush. Oh, I'm dead. Ah! Okay, good. We made it. We're good. Nope. No, we're not. Okay, just survive. Get a checkpoint. Come on. All right, checkpoint. Good, 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 good. Okay. No, no. That was close. Oh, it is the A4. I probably could have read that on the freaking screen. That's what I thought. I don't believe it could go a full auto though in real life. Well, maybe it could, but it's just never done. Those, that, those guys in that bus are apparently invincible. Storming this... Oh, wow, that was completely inaccurate. Storming this building here is always a little bit rough, but I got a checkpoint, so I feel good about it. Because they shoot... Yeah, they just shoot out of, like, all the angles in there. A little tired today, guys, so maybe that's why I'm a little bit more quiet than usual, a little less energized. Like I said, pretty busy holiday weekend we had here. We're good. No, there's more in here. I just don't know where they are. I don't want to get ambushed. They're behind me, aren't they? I think we're alright, actually. We're good. No! <laughs> oh my god. King of speaking too soon over here. I thought that was going to fly back in my face.
Thanks for running right into my bullets, bro. I think I got him through the wall there. Had to catch me on the reload, of course. I should have just ran straight in, I should have flashbang first. I think we're good on that side. Someone's in there. I guess not. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I always pick up an M4 on this, uh, M16 on this mission, even though it's essentially identical to the M4. Uh, I don't know, I just like the model, I like the iron sights. Like, I still have the M4 right now, but it uses the same ammo, so... And also, I think if you pick up two guns that use the same ammo, you could double up on the ammo capacity, which is, uh, kind of, kind of an exploit, I guess. Almost good. Actually, I think I gotta run down there and storm the building or else they just keep spawning. I'm going. That grenade was uh, my cue to go. Nice, nice. Yep. There we go. A lot of people don't know there's actually an upstairs here that you can clear out. There's still enemies. I think there's an intel uh, drop in here, but I think I picked up a lot of the intel the last time I played. I have You don't need to go through there. Let's wait for that car to blow up before I move up. That's good. You better get cooked, bro. He's good. Took that like a champ. This part right here is pretty cool. And Vasquez comes over to help. That's why I love Basquez, he's such a tank. Jeez. Got him. I think I got the other one too. Watch out for that car, I don't want to blow up. Move! I swear to God, if that thing blew me up, I would have been so pissed. I actually got the MGs right here. I like how they have saws, though. Hold right here. Enemy tank coming up the road. This is like basically the end of the mission, I believe. And the next mission, if you uh, if you're a fan of this game and you know what's coming next, then uh, I'm sure you're eagerly anticipating it. We got a Russian tank right there, or I guess a Soviet tank would be more accurate. About to destroy us. I love that. I love how he shoots through the through the building. That's so cool. That's a maneuver that actually could and probably definitely has been pulled off, and you know, in the history of tank warfare, shooting through things. I think we're clear so, now. Uh, nah, they're still, they're still shooting at somebody. Are we there yet? Bravo 6, 2nd Platoon is moving to rendezvous near your location. What's your status? Over. Precious cargo is intact and en route. We're almost at Highway 4 and should make visual contact shortly with 2nd Platoon. Let's take a look at some of these details. War pig right there. Nice. M1 Abrams is such a cool tank. All right, there's the sea knight. This Come on. Is Vasquez. This is Outlaw 25. The task force is moving in to capture Al-Assad. It's all hands on deck for this one, so get on board, over. 
Roger that. Let's do it. Ready. Next mission is pretty iconic. And pretty fun. Go. I always like to run on board before the mission ends. Marines, we have a possible fix on all the side of the capital city. First battalion is en route. Intel gathered by SAS indicates that Al-Assad may have a Russian warhead. Speed is critical. Nest teams have been deployed to the area. Force recon and wild weasel units have taken out most of the air defenses, but Al-Assad's ground forces still pose a serious threat. Looks like we're rolling in with everything we got. We get Al-Assad, we end this war right here, right now. Lock and load, Marines. Okay, so this part, this part on the helicopter with the Mark 19, Mark 19 grenade launcher here, you'd think it should be easy because you're up in a helicopter, but it's actually pretty damn hard on veteran. Because they just, as usual, laser pinpoint on you, on the turret. All call signs, this is Overlook. We're seeing enemy armor in the Palm Grove west of the river. And it's pretty easy to get overwhelmed by the RPGs here. See, like I'm already almost dying. These guys will kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna die. See? <laughs> it's just a matter of being really, really quick with your trigger finger and trying to take out those APCs before you get too far away. See, I got all three of them. No, four. Got him. Now I gotta take up. No, I'm overheated. I'm overheated. Yeah, see? If you overheat once, you could be dead. I'm lucky I got out of that. These RPGs can take you out. It's kind of cool, though, because usually when in these sort of turret sections, you're like invincible. And in this one, you're, you're still a threat. Like, I could die right here. We gotta overheat. Uh, I should have brought down the statue because he could do that. Oh, maybe I'll get another chance. <laughs> That's a great quote by Churchill, by the way. There goes the statue. Saddam Hussein reference, probably. that out already. Not that one. See, I can't even get my gun around to shoot this guy. Oh, that's an AT. I didn't see that AA gun. Shit. We're good. Oh my god, I can't. He turns a little bit and I just get lit up. Got another checkpoint though, that's good. Oh, didn't see that guy down there. here and take the rest two clicks west. We need you to evac an advance team pin down in the city. So a lot of people don't really realize how, uh, well actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna slight spoilers here for what's about to happen at the end of this mission. Um, so the nuke goes off at the end of this mission and kills the player character and Vasquez and your whole marine squad. Um, but a lot of people are confused as to how Griggs, who's another member of your squad, 
uh, who appears later on in the game in the SAS missions, a lot of people wonder how it is he survived, or have, I've, heard, I've seen people say that, like, how the hell is Briggs survived the nuke? It's because where we just dropped him, dropped all those troops off, he got out there too. Um, I think they might have added an extra line in the remaster that makes that more clear. But yeah, so that's how Greg survives. It's just really under. Let's do it. The music is going ham right now. Shit! Gotta be careful. One, all it takes is one guy to take you out in this game. Now I gotta do this whole part again where I run up. Oh, uh, something pretty cool, I guess I could say, since I'm online. Um, I actually got, uh, if any of you saw my Call of Duty World of War playthrough, uh, I'm sure you have or have heard me mention it, because I seem to always mention it. Um, you guys know how much I love that game, Call of Duty World of War. And uh, I recently downloaded a mod, a couple mods actually, that makes like the uniforms and the vehicles and the guns more realistic and historically accurate. Um, there's actually a pretty good YouTube video about the historical inaccuracies of World of War, which, you know, still, it still praises the game as being amazing, but it just goes through, I think it's by some guy named, like, Frosty or something like that, or, like, Frosty1 or something like that. Maybe I'll drop a link for it in the comments below. Um, maybe not. Um, maybe I will, I don't know. <laughs> uh, my brain's a little scrambled right now. Anyway, um, so yeah, he made another video where he, co uh, corrected the historical inaccuracies of Call of Duty World at War, and he talked about a mod, and this mod, it, like, adds, like, more accurate and more varied, like, German camo, German facial mods, uh, facial mods, facial, like, uh, modes, you know, like, more, the AI has, like, different and more varied faces, facial models, uh, there's extra guns, there's, uh, accurate, accurate to the last detail, uh, uniforms and insignias for both your allied troops and for the Germans and Japanese in the game. It's just a really cool mod. That better not kill me. Okay, good. It's just a really cool mod and I downloaded it. And, uh, I haven't played it, obviously, since I just played World of War for you guys, like, a month ago. So I'm a little World of War out right now, but, uh, it's a pretty cool mod. Maybe I'll drop a link to it in the, uh, description or something if there's any interest for it. Okay, I think we're good here. I like that. He had the AT4 and he actually accurately fired and forgot it. Because that's what they're uh, that's what they're called. They're fire and forget weapons. Nothing nothing to see here, just me casually noob tubing a helicopter out of the sky. So this little uh, this little gunfight here is actually, if you notice, the actual time spent with boots on the ground in this mission is actually pretty short. This is a pretty short mission. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm playing on Veteran, I'd be done with it already. Um, so it's actually pretty cool. I don't know, I just think it's kind of cool how this mission is so short, but it's so remembered. Uh, especially when you consider that most of it is in a helicopter and not actually boots on the ground. Uh, Thanks for that, Deadly. I didn't realize she actually took that out. This little part here could be pretty tough, though, because they really hold up in this building, and I try to get in that building. That's really my strategy. And they just laser you. I mean, what usually works is I take out the... Oh, man. Never mind. I guess I shouldn't talk about what usually works. Alright, let's try this again.
Shit. Let's just throw a flash and run. Ah. Oh man, I should have went in the building. I could have been shielded. That almost worked though. Alright, let's do it again. Take out the guys on the roofs and on the the roof and on the uh, windows. Any windows. Oh my god. Can't even peek a little. Okay, he's down. They're down. You gotta be real sweaty to get through here. That flashbang did nothing, except for flash my own guy. Tedious, but we gotta do it. As I say, it's all part of the fun, right? But I'm just like already tired and fucking grumpy today, so it's pissing me off. Ah, fuck it. You know what? What if I just sprint forward? Oh, uh, I mean, I had more success on that than I did in the previous attempts. Maybe I'll try that again. What if I just sprint before she even finishes talking? I never really thought of that. Uh, well, that didn't work. I gotta noob tube this helicopter every time. Run and gun. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Uh, I was trying to get behind that uh, wall there so I could turn around. I think we have a 1911 as my backup. I was just thinking about that because I would have had to pull it out. Shit. Oh, I didn't nuke the chopper. Fuck. Oh my god. Did you see that? Dude, the game is just fucking with me at this point. Alright, let's take this a little bit slower, maybe. Maybe I'm just rushing a little bit. Let's stay, like, back here. With my boy Haggerty. Just pick these guys off one at a time. Move up to the container. Gently peek. They keep coming back up to the window, though. That's the only problem. Alright, I'll take out the guy. No, please don't kill me. They just keep respawning, that's the problem. And they have RPDs up there. I'm dead. Is that grenades? 
Okay. Let's throw a flash and just blind. Go, go. Pull out the pistol. Alright, alright. That was successful. Now I just gotta clear the upstairs. Reload the M4. Please give me a checkpoint. That would be much appreciated. Oh, nope! <laughs> okay, thank goodness I'm still alive. Let's try that again. Oh, there's only one guy in here. Alright, alright. Game saved. Alright, we made it. Oof. See what happens when you just try, try, try again. Put your mind to something, you can do it. Let this be an inspiration to you. I think we're almost there. Yep, we made it. Oh, these guys. Oh my god, I hate, I hate my life. I'm just gonna shut up. Every time I, like, do something good, I'm just gonna shut up. Fuck you. Alright, let's go. On with the story. We're in the same LZ we came in on. We kind of did, like, a little loop-de-loop -loop around there. All right, pay attention to what they're saying. I shouldn't have been talking over it. I do love how there's zero hesitation to go get her though. Zero hesitation, even though there's a possibility of a nuke going off. I love that. Alright, so this part on veteran could be a bit tricky because you have a minute and 30 seconds. So basically, run, get her, and then run back with no cover and no weapon. So, really, the best strategy is to just charge and just do it. Alright, now it's just basically me running and praying that I don't get a straight shot. Because I can't do anything to stop it. I think we made it. Oh, there he goes, my big mouth again. Come on. Alright, we made it. Alright. Come on, come on. All right. All U.S. forces be advised. We have a confirmed nuclear threat in the city. S teams are on site and attempting to disarm. I repeat. Everyone, hang on. There it is. The consequences of our good deed. You know what they say: no good deed goes unpunished. Yep, so probably the most iconic moment in any single player Call of Duty, honestly. Or at least definitely top two, top three. There's our name right there, Sergeant Paul Jackson. A lot of casualties.
I mean, that in real life, that would basically be the Marine Corps crippled, you know? Uh, I mean, 30,000 casualties, I believe they say, in the second game. And then we got this. They had balls for making you, for letting you play this. I'll tell them that. I'll tell you that much. A lot of people don't know you could actually stand up in this mission. Listen to that radio chatter. You could actually find uh, Vasquez's body. There's, uh, I believe that's the female pilot we rescued. You could actually find them all. And there's the cloud. And if you listen closely, you could actually hear children laughing if you walk into this playground. There goes that building. This is just such a, the epitome of atmosphere. Hear that? There we go. That is just a classic moment. I'm actually gonna stop it before it goes on here and uh, I think that's gonna be it for tonight guys I'm uh, pretty tired a little run down but I just wanted to get some content on the channel for you guys because it's been like a week um, definitely went on with a bang here uh, I guess it's kind of fitting considering the depressing mood we just left off <laughs> but um, you know uh, next time I'll be a little bit more lively and uh, I think it'll be a good time so I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.